Hey everyone, Ralph here. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to scrape all of the data off any website that has a sitemap, upload that as a resource to GPT that allows it to ask, uh, answer questions about any content that exists on that website. So I'm going to show you how to do it in a few very simple steps. It only takes two or three minutes and all of the resources and code that I'm using is available in a link in the description where I walk through some of the steps that you need to take in order to do, uh, do these things. Super simple. It's only going to take you a few minutes as you'll be able to tell. So I got gadget.dev here that I'm going to scrape uh, and ask a couple of questions about. And then I have my code here. I'll walk through the code in a minute. I just want to kick off the scraper first to allow you uh, allow us to get all of the information. Uh, and uh, then we can look at the result and then walk through the code and understand what it does. So the scraping should be completed here uh, pretty quickly. Here we have it. So let's go over to Shant GPT. I'm going to go ahead and create a GPT here. And I'm just going to go straight to configuring it. Uh, and then let's call this gadget expert. And then I'm just going to be copy pasting a description here, answer questions about gadget. And then the instructions is just telling it what it should be doing, how it should behave, how it should help users that uses it. So I've given it the instructions, use the zip file uploaded to you and search through these documents for any relevant information about what the user is asking for. Then respond with a clear and concise answer. The user can ask for more information if they want. Don't tell the user about the files that you have. So let's go ahead and upload the file that we just created. I call it allfiles.zip based on the code that we'll see in a minute. So let's go ahead and upload that. And then uh, once that is completed, we can go ahead and hit save. I'm just going to have it non-public for now. And then we can go ahead and ask our question here. And of course, worth noting, make sure that you have permission to scrape anyone's website or at least don't share it publicly uh, to sort of follow best practices. So on Gadget's website, they have a blog that has been scraped. And on November 2nd, just a few days ago, they uh, created or published this blog post, uh, which is a case study about a company called Misfits that created a Shopify app using the gadget.dev platform. It has some information about the, the, um, the app, what they did, et cetera. So I figured let's add, uh, ask a question about that because that's definitely something that doesn't exist in ChatGPT's own history. So uh, what can you tell me about Misfits? And my GPT will now look at the file or the resource that we've uploaded to it, searching through that, trying to find information about Misfits, and then it's going to provide us answer based on this blog post that we know exists in its resource. It's just unzipping that, looking through the files, and then analyzing to figure out what is it going to respond to us. So let's see what it says. It's taking a few uh, seconds here. GPT has been slow today. It's been very popular, I can imagine, but it looks like it's completed. So says, Misfits is a project that utilizes Gadget's technology, particularly benefiting from the built-in API connections and Gadget's ability to simplify it and expedite development process. Julia, uh, who uh, involved in Misfits project, found that using Gadget's not only saves time in development, but also enhanced performance in their built-in recommendation engine, et cetera, et cetera. So it's essentially just using the information in this blog post that we scraped and upload to, uploaded to GPT to answer this question. Um, and you can sort of style, figure out what you want your GPT to answer in what ways. It just goes into that configuration that we did earlier. But enough about that. I think you get that point. Let's look at the code and make sure that you understand what we're doing in here. And again, the code is available in a link in the video description with a few steps of how to set this up on your local computer. So I have a couple of... Um, Imports that I'm doing here, and then I'm just defining the sitemap that I want to scrape. Gadget.dev is what we used. 
Then I have some optional open AI things here in the in this code that also allow you to instead of uh, just uploading it manually to a GPT, allow you to create an assistant and up, uh, upload it there in case that's something that is useful. And then we have a couple of different functions and a main function that I'll walk through. So one here, which is extract text, is just taking HTML content and removing some uh, HTML code, et cetera, to try to get down to more useful text, the content of the website, rather than all of the H uh, HTML code in it. Uh, and this is a function that fetches and returns clean text from a URL. You can see it calls this function right here. And then we have our main function that orchestrates everything that this script does. Uh, so it uses sitemapper and it creates a folder that I just called pages uh, and it creates the folder right here. And then for every URL or site in our sitemap that we're uh, looking at, we're gonna loop through and create a couple of things. So it calls a couple of these functions that we've created. And then the thing that it does is that it creates a single file in the folder that we created for every single page that we're scraping. And then once that is completed, we're gonna take all of those files and zip them up into one single zip code, which is the zip code that we uploaded. And once that is completed, we just do this little logger here that we saw at the very bottom here. Uh, and that's, that's it. We naturally call this function down here. And then, like I said, I have some optional uh, uh, open AI API calls here as well. If you prefer to create an assistant with this data instead, you can go ahead that doing, uh, doing that with this uh, little code snippet here, but just leave it uncommented because I think some people might find it easier to use a GPT and interact with it right here. And that's it. In a few minutes, we scraped the website, uploaded it to ChatGPT and allowed us to talk with the content of that. Uh, super simple, super straightforward. I hope that you found this useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Or if you have suggestions of something that you would want me to create a tutorial for, please feel free to ask. I would love to hear what, what would be helpful for you. Like I said, make sure that you have permissions to scrape someone's website. Uh, and don't share that content publicly if you're not allowed to do it. But anyway, that's it for now. If you found this useful, please give a thumbs up on the video and consider subscribing to the channel so you can be notified when I upload more tutorials in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.